Hey everyone, my name is Nadia Struig and I'm from the Netherlands. I'm an artist, I'm a live performer, I'm a producer, and I also give workshops. And my main focus is ambient and experimental music. So I create that with hardware, but also with plugins. And I'm gonna walk you through the unfiltered audio silo today. So the silo is a spatial granulator, which is based on granular synthesis. And granular synthesis works with samples and it basically cuts little snippets out of a sample, which are called grains. So I can't wait to walk through the plugin with you. So let's have a look. So this is the style of plugin and this is how it looks after you drag and drop it into your work file. And I'm using it twice a day because I want to layer my sounds and um, I'm basically want to create a layer on top of the sequence that is running in the background right now. So this is the plugin and if I'm going to solo my MIDI channel because I'm using a MIDI channel and the silo picks up a sample from the sound that is playing and visually you can see it in the left bottom. But first we're going to go to global options. And you can change here the color theme, which is really nice. So I choose today for the silo, but if you want to go do not for dark mode, you can go to the extinction, um, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the overview. As you can hear, the sound already changed from the sequence. So you can change the mix. So this is how much you want to put the effect into the mix. And the plugin is divided up to three sections. So the granulator, the spatializer, and the reverb. For now, I deactivated the reverb because you will see, it's really cool. So firstly, the granulator. You can change the size, the rate, the pitch, and the speed. So firstly, we're gonna change the length of the grain. So that's basically what the size stands for. Then we have the rate. So how many grains do you want that appears in your whole sample then we can change the pitch so we can transpose the note down or up then we also can change the speed it sets how quickly a grain plays and we can change the buffer of the sample below the size the rate and the pitch and the speed we can change the inputs so we can change it into time, tempo, ratio, or p-ratio for size. For the rate, we can change into frequency or tempo. For the note, we can, uh, for the pitch, we can change it into note or tuning. And the speed, we can change ratio, skip, offset, or t-offset. So the cool thing as well of this plugin is that you can randomize the size, the rate, the pitch, and the speed. So you can find it below every input. So on the right side of the granulator, we have the mask. So you can change a sort of algorithm, how it masks the sound. And let's go to spread, reverse and shape. So on the left side, we can change actually a sort of stereo sound to the grains. So it sounds here like way drier. We can change the, re uh, the sample into reverse. So it reverse basically the grain. Then we have the shape. You can change the shape, the shape of the grain, which part. And then we cha can change the input of that as well. So maybe you want to have a different kind of, maybe the triangle. We all know the triangle, right? So let's choose a triangle. And with this, we can freeze the sound, which is really cool because I'm actually using that a lot of times. So I'm using this because I want to capture the sound how it is and how I'm tweaking it. And I'm going to layer that sound then as well. So it's really cool to record it as an audio. So it's pretty cool. So we're going to go to Spatializer. 
So spatializer is basically meant for creating a spacious sound. So we can place the grains wherever we want in space. So there are different algorithms in here. I'm gonna put the spread a bit down. For now, we're gonna go for the 3D sound. We can choose how quickly it goes. That's basically the velocity in the bottom. We can slow them a bit down. We can change the range. So how wide do you want the sound be to be? We can jump the sounds. Let's create like a little bit more grains in here. So it's changing the sound directly, which is really cool. But we also can just deactivate it if you don't want to use it. And for the next section, the reverb, oh, I can't wait. So the reverb, if we activate it, basically it creates such a nice layer. It's a very unique, unique reverb and you can change the tone from this reverb. So you can choose out of different inputs and also how do you want the reverb in the mix. You want to have a normal, solo or balance. So in the mix solo, it means basically that you only hear the reverb and normal is just, it's how it is active. And then you have balance and it's basically a mix out of it. So if we're going to go to level, we can increase it, the volume of the reverb, but we also can have increase the chance of the reverb, the variation, or we can put up even a mask. You can change the decay, the distance, the damping, the filter, the cutoff and the resonance. And you can change also the filter types, which is really nice. Um, so I'm going to show you a bit how it sounds like. But we really want to have it maximized because it's an extra layer. So, and on the right side, you have the compressor and you have the mix where you can choose out of. And the compressor is basically a gain, so you can increase the sound, the volume. So this is what I have done, and this is how the original sound sounds. And then I created another layer, as I already told you. So I created it also with the silo plugin. So if I go to the other channel, I'm just going to bring it up. It's the same sound, so it's the same sound I'm, I used. And with this, I really played with the pitch, which is really cool. You will be probably very curious how it will sound in the mix. So this is how it will sound in the mix.